hello everyone welcome to my channel world of aws i hope you all are doing good so we are continuing with complete gitlab ci cd pipeline tutorial and in previous video we have seen like how we can write yaml and basic aspect of yaml but if you want to learn yaml in depth i have separate playlist for that you can go ahead and you can check it okay but in this video we are going to discuss about cell okay so cell is nothing it's a terminal okay where you can run your commands so suppose i have opened this terminal here okay uh, because i have ubuntu here so ubuntu operating system i am using so if i do ls so it will show all the file whatever file we have inside this directory and if we do pwd it will show what directory currently we are okay in what direct in what directory currently we are okay and if we change the directory okay cd aws okay so you can see uh, we are under aws directory and if we run pwd then you can see here home bpin aws okay so this is the simple explanation of terminal and cell okay so let's go back and go back to documentation here that i have created for cell uh, topic okay so the choice of cell depend on various factor okay according to your requirement it's depend such as operating system so what operating system you, you are using in gitlab runner okay the complexity of your ci cd pipeline task and your familiarity with a particular cell okay so like cell depends on like operating system gitlab runner operating system like how complex your ci cd pipeline is and what cell scripting or what um, scripting you know okay so here here are some common use cases of using cell in gitlab ci cd pipeline okay so running commands so we can use cell to run our commands cell allow us to execute command and script to build test and deploy your applications okay so environment setup you can use cell to set up the environment variable install dependencies and configure your ci cd environment okay so apart from it we can also use cell uh, for scripting cell support scripting allowing you to automate complex tasks and workflow within your pipelines okay so error handling we can also use cell for error handling cell provide mechanism for error handling and conditional execution of command ensuring robustness in your ci cd pipeline okay so overall the cell is gitlab ci cd pipeline is a powerful tool that enable you to customize and automate various aspect of your software development life cycle okay so let me go here let me open the terminal here only okay so do ls so we can see we have a uh, test.yml like m k d i r suppose i want to make one directory okay test so now do ls so you can see there is one directory that is test okay so we are going to see some basic cell scripting commands as well but if you want to learn cell scripting from scratch to advance then i have separate playlist for that where i have like more than uh, 20 videos i have already uploaded you can go and you can check out and you can learn uh, cell scripting from advance okay from basic to advance okay so let me change the directory so we are under test directory now okay so now if we do ls we have nothing okay so let's create a file here touch dot sorry touch dev dot txt okay now do ls so here you can see we have uh, dev dot txt here and let me open this here so as you can see here we have uh, dev dot txt so right hi there 
how are you and let's save this okay now now what we have to do we have to do cat so whatever we have written inside this dev.txt file so we are going to see that so you can see the output is hi there how are you so as we have written this in our dev.txt so these are the some basic command i am not going to deep dive in the cell here because my main like motto is to cover all the gitlab topics that we, you should know as a devops engineer here in this tutorial okay but if you want to learn cell scripting from basic to advanced then you can go and you can check out my other playlist okay i have uh, uploaded more than 20 video videos on that okay I hope you found this video informative and helpful. So thanks, thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe my channel and see you in the next video.